Well, hello there. Well, it's fall in Milwaukee, and in fall, one of the things we do is make a lot of soup, eat a lot of soup. So today we're making a beef barley soup in the Instant Pot. Before we get started, I wanted to give a shout out to one of my guys, Matt Pendleton. He's known as the Kitchen Mechanic. Well, I'm giving a shout out. Put some olive oil in here, about two tablespoons. Let that heat. We're on the saute function here. So Matt is an actual mechanic, and he's a cook. So that's where he, come, he came up with the name, the Kitchen Mechanic. He's uh, another one part of the group of men who cook. So we want to salute them, salute Matt, check him out. I'll have his information down in the notes section. So we've got some chuck roast, trimmed of a lot of excess fat, and we're going to put it in the saute. You can hear it, probably take Take two batches. Alright. Get a little salt and pepper. We've got three minutes on each side. While we're getting this meat brown, I want to ask you to please subscribe to Cooking Secrets for Men. We do appreciate your support. We've got a lot of great followers and supporters out there, please like our videos, comment, subscribe. All right, looks like we've got uh, beat this first batch brown, so we're going to take it out, put it on plate, and then we're going to put it in our second batch. And this is a dish that will come together in about half hour, 40 minutes, 20 minutes in the Instant Pot and 10 minutes of a release. And then the only other time consuming part is sauteing the meat here. So we're going to put in our second batch. Get this nice and brown. A little more salt and pepper. And the same process. Brown it on both sides. Get it nice and hot. So we're going to pull the second batch of beef out, put it on a plate. We're going to leave the juices in and we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. So this is the fun part of the Instant Pot where it does take a little bit of time to uh, heat and get ready to pressure cook. So what we have to do is cancel, which is turn it off. We're going to turn it on to pressure cook once we get the ingredients in. Alright, so to add the ingredients, what we have here is some chopped carrots, celery, and onions. We're just going to toss that right in. Full recipe is at our website, cookingsecretsformen.com. Give this a little stir. It's still hot. All right. And we've got some tomato paste. About three tablespoons. One, two, three. You also can put in diced tomatoes if you'd like. Not going to do it for this. This is four cups of beef broth. We're actually going to add in seven all together. Here's three more cups of beef broth. If we were going to cook this on the stove top, which takes about two or three hours, uh, we'd probably put in eight cups. But because the pressure keeps the moisture in, we're cutting it down to seven cups. So I've got some light soy sauce, about a tablespoon of that, right. and also some Worcestershire sauce, about the same. And then here is our barley for our beef barley soup. We're using the uh, Quaker medium barley, and use any kind you like. Put that in. We're going to put our meat back in with the juices. And the last two things we're going to add is, this is some fresh thyme out of our garden. Put that right in. Some chopped rosemary, also out of our garden. Give it a good stir. And one last ingredient, we'll put in a 
couple of teaspoons of garlic. We use, I'm cooking for either pressure cook or a long time, I use the jar garlic instead of fresh. We put the top on the Instant Pot. All right, and we're going to set to pressure. And we're going to set to 20 minutes. Take it off, keep warm. We also want to, back here, make sure that our release valve is closed. And then we'll just wait for this to tell us it's ready to go. All right, as you see, it's turned to 20 minutes. So the pressure is high. There's a little knob back here, silver knob, that needs to stay up, which it will. And the release valve back here is in a closed position. So we've got 20 minutes on the pressure cooker. And when that is finished, we will let it naturally release for 10 minutes. All right, the Instant Pot just beeped, finishes 20 minutes of pressure cooking. So what's going to happen now is we're going to let it naturally release for 10 minutes and we use my alternate kitchen timer. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Alexa is great in the kitchen. So 10 minutes of re natural release. We will manually release it after that and then get ready to serve the soup. Alexa, stop. That was Alexa telling us that the 10 minutes of the natural release is over. So we're going to do the quick release, which is right here we're going to take a spoon, not touching it with our hands, but this will release the rest of the pressure very quickly. Okay, the natural release takes about a minute or so, and we're just getting ready. You can hear it lessening, and we're waiting for this little silver button to drop down, which will tell us all the pressure has been removed. Now you see it just popped down. So we're going to take our top off. All right, give it a stir. Oh yeah. Great smell in this. Great looking soup. Lots of barley. And the beef very tender. And the tub I look at. So to serve, just going to take a couple ladles full. Put it in a bowl. And make sure we get a lot of vegetables and a lot of broth. Mm -hmm. I think I'll have to taste the beef, make sure we're good. Mmm, delicious. Probably shouldn't be eating while I'm talking. So the last thing we want to do, we're going to top with a little chopped parsley. And there you have it. This is a beef and barley soup made in the Instant Pot, ready in 45 minutes or so. For most of the time, you aren't doing anything except watching the Instant Pot pressurize and then depressurize. So it's a quick meal to prepare, and while you're waiting for the Instant Pot to do its thing, you, there's a lot of other things you can be doing in the kitchen. Appreciate all of our supporters. Make sure you like our videos, comment. We do appreciate that. Check us out on our website, which we were voted one of the top 30 men's cooking websites on the internet, cookingsecretsformen.com. Appreciate your support. And as always, thanks for watching.